Patu Tufajalo, a former July 22nd beauty pageant winner yesterday appeared before the TRC. While testifying, she told the commission that she was raped by the exiled former president Yaya Jame after winning the 22nd July 2014 student beauty pageant competition. She said after victory in 2014, she was invited several times to attend events at the State House, but she refused only to be convinced by her mom to go. We have more in this report. Former July 22nd beauty queen Fatu Tufajalo Thursday morning appeared before the TRRC where she testified on her alleged sexual violence against Gambia's exiled former president Yaya Jame. In June this year, reports packed in the country of Ms. Jalo accusing the former president of sexual abuse on the New York Times and BBC. At age 18, at the time of the pageant, Ms. Jalo told the commission in her Thursday testimony that the incident occurred when she had just graduated from high school and was enrolled as freshman student at the Gambia College. She explained to the commission her reasons for joining the competition and what she expected. I had the pageant early on, in around when it just started. I remember... Um, watching it in my older mom's, my dad's first wife's house with the rest of my siblings. And um, I saw students from the University of the Gambia. And um, I think it, it was either around the time that face of Afisel happened. It was it before or after, I'm not sure. But it was around that time. And um, I thought it was great. I watched it. We will stay in the house until 3 in the morning because the show did went on for that long. And um, yeah, and I said I would do that if I get the chance to. And me and all of my sisters wanted to do that as it was a scholarship pageant. But most importantly is the concept was, at least how I saw it, was, oh, you're great and you're good and you're the best of what we can take from your institutions to say. And we give you a platform and you tell us what you want to do. And then we further your education. We further whatever it is that you want to do. So that, that was the driving force, yeah. The 2014 July 22nd pageant winner said alongside other winners and participants of the competition, the president availed them an unofficial courtesy call where the former leader gave them 50,000 the last his age. According to Tufa, the official courtesy call came in December at State House, where each of the winners, including herself, was given a cash prize of 200,000 the last his, a laptop and a box that contained a gold coin. She explained that as the events became very frequent to the detriment of higher education, she missed a lot of her lecture in school. In what seemed to be personal visits, Tufa told the commission on two occasions she had been invited by the president to Jimbe Jame where she discussed her project with him and she was given a hundred thousand dollars after the second visit to implement her project. Ms. Jalo revealed that the president offered her the position of protocol officer which she declined. Together in a very short um, span and he offered that if I would like to work as a protocol officer at the state house. Um, I thought it was a great offer at the time, but also I know that I have never worked in my life and I do not have any experience of working anywhere. And it was nerve wracking to me in that moment. I am very bad with um, capturing names or dates. So I figured it will not be a great idea to work at such a high office knowing how clumsy I can be. So to me, I was telling him that that would be a great offer if I study and come back and I don't mind serving the State House or the White House, but right now I will not be able to do that because I will not be able to live up to your expectations. Fatutu Fajala will continue with a detailed testimony on human rights abuses that she alleged to have been meted out to her by former President Jame. For iAfrica TV News, I am Fatma Tejaju. Well, Mam GB, that was Tufa Jalo, Fatma Tufa Jalo, rather, yesterday, uh, more than testified before the Truth Reconciliation and Reparation Commission. Mom, um, part of her testimony, Monia Kanpur.
we revealed to the commission um were meted on her by the former president cb testimony revealed that she was raped um, while mudemon visit the president uh, on an invitation for a gamo while actually the quranic recitation was going on according to her so mune kalo hamantene it was um, it was I wouldn't say shocking because we've had past revelations, but be it a bit. For now, I can abort her maintenance. A bit. Um, that's how I'll not open your body. Well, not the law. Then I come in. Come in. That's your body. Then I don't care. When they get any sexual abuse, like you know, come in your ear. That's it. Then you're deaf. Can you not come in? Don't care. Come in. Can you do for the new? That's the good. Then you move. Get on. Momo Genon, Wahal Bofom, Bim Gene, Wahal Bofom, Nigisne, Nupling Amon Jortrek, even team being a Hamdenium Yod on death sensitization, Bunfinui, Kirkson, she was when will we expect for Gisking a Hamdem or Monica Tufa? Unfortunately, Dembo Gisna Nyona, Wahna, Telubari Chilling a Hamne, Nubari Degunko, and such interview him don death, Dembo Leral Nako, Nanla Yefi Ame. Ambition, being a ham de mumla amon, ne con tout tank, holon, yifi from dore, togon ak njabotam, bugon mumtum, luyokling a ham de my mahamam chua lunyang, ak jim chiu yu momoko puson bum dugichi yu meni. Leral natam chia i kadumni, luchi berry chilling a ham de dan kodon joh, so gise mudon nongo jil lunumel, riru chuan ako i wajura mu yam, lole yu bok and a chilling a ham de mumla jehalich i kadum, one ling a ham de moi, nyaute fing a ham de mumla ko jam medef, chibis bing a ham de nyip lindon by helne. Kerana kamu tahu jorat pelatni, domu Adam abang kami, amga iman tuh tiak kini ulingah kami memonik dini Islam. Dorsu 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 kami memonik dini Islam lu numel japut ne sang betel la ci mom ndax euh waji digon nako wala amon na yene tak ko soxna waye mom andu ton ci lu jëm ci lola ak yeneen yi nga xamne mom mo ci am legal bu numel ñu ko doon xaar ci mom waye demb leral nako massako tamit ci nim fi genné ak metti di nga xamne mom la wax njabotam tam bim fi joggé ñom ñu ngi doon face li nga xamne mom moneka consequences ndax ñom lañ doon laaj fan la xalé bi dug ak yu jëm ci yoyu be mom mu def pexé ba escape dem bi mu ñëwé tamit jamme joggé fi mu léralat yëf yi taxawal li nga xamne moy foundation wala li nga xamne mom moneka project woné né waru ñu tëddé xalé yi ci lu dudu seen ciobéré ak yoya yëf yi dal mu ngi doon ci liñ ci dégg dem wa that was the two first testimony before the truth reconciliation and reparation commission